Okay guys, looks like I'm back. Guys, is the stream on? Is the stream going on right now? Can you guys hear me now? Tell me! Yes! Success! <laughs> okay guys, so we're back with the live tutorial. Sorry about that. I had like way too many diff uh, technical difficulties. And uh, we're back and we're live. So, looks like I'm gonna have to redo everything I've said. Yep, yep, yep. Great, great. Okay, so guys, ask away. What are the questions that you have regarding Hawkeye? Do you want me to go over his normals or what? Okay, by yes, do you do you mean do you want me to go over his normals and what what are the applications for these normals? Okay, okay, great. So now that you guys are able to hear me, just fine. <laughs> yeah, this guy. Yo, Matt, you're the worst. <laughs> okay. So let's let's discuss uh, Hawkeye's normals. So we got we have uh, standing light, we have crouching light, we have standing medium and crouching medium. A move that you should never use to go in is crouching medium. This move has very poor range, is ridiculously bad, and is super ma is super negative on block. So you should never do that that kind of thing. Don't use that. Only use it in block screens and be very careful when using it. Uh, your tool of choice should always should always be when it went up close uh, standing medium which has a ridiculous amount of range it has more range than, than most of Wesker's normals it can actually challenge most of Wesker's normals actually so if you see Wesker coming in at you just do this just do standing medium into, uh, into uh, poison tip which is quarter circle back light into light so, quarter circle back light, and then you, you tap light once again. So, this will allow you to hit them, and uh, when they get poisoned, you're gonna be at, a, at, a, at an advantage. So, you can start pressing buttons right away. Do crouching light. That's just your best bet. Crouching light. Whatever they do, they're gonna get they're gonna get counter hit. You don't get much out of the counter hit, but you get a hit and a combo. So, okay, so what's his strength as an anchor? Okay, Hawkeye's strength as an anchor is that he can actually KO pretty much everybody fairly, fairly quickly. Uh, his uh, damage boost is ridiculous and the chip damage is, is just bizarre. So, let's, let's make uh, Wesker block some of his attacks while he's blocking. And while Hawkeye is in level 3 Xbox. So, Wesker... I'm going to block, baby. Auto guard, old guard. So, this is how much chip he gets. So, as you can see, the chip of Pearson Ball is actually 16,500 in life points. So, now Drix Fox is that You have 26,000. That's one Pearson Ball. That's a lot of chip. Voice chip is a lot of damage as well. And, uh, yeah, the chip damage starts to be pile up and then he actually kills you. Really fast. Yeah. Give, give, give him an unblocked hit. 120,000. Uh, 120, okay, so. Hawkeye has a lot, a lot of block screens. Like, two block screens. You can see, people do it. And it becomes a block. People can absolutely do it. Things that, that are not true 50 50s then become true 50 50s and they have to block because if they press buttons they're gonna get they're gonna get messed up they're gonna get effed up so this is not Free a 50 50. hawkeye can get Free hit shot. out of this but you know people are not gonna be doing it so this is minus standing medium is minus three on block Free so you can cancel into this Free but you gotta be careful because people cannot play it now if you have low three you got hawkeye this becomes a true, uh, true 50 50. And as you can see, Hawk, oh, by the way, don't, do not do Feature. this move close to people because Feature. he just goes through them. He doesn't kill them. Or Feature. Feature. Do not do this. Maximum. Do not use this, this roll 
right next to them and throw arrows. Down, boys, you Light, hit them. Okay, okay. If they're like, you like throw range, down, like point blank range. Okay, boys, poison tip will hit them. I would never forget to do that. Very risky in that you can see, feature, feature, eight feature, after the roll, point blank does not hit any category. Now, crouch you mean, I mean I crouch you mean, uh, you can actually hit you. So this is your, your block stream. This, just this. This is just great. Do not call assist while doing this because sometimes if you mess up the timing of the poison tip, you're gonna get you're gonna get destroyed. You're gonna get happy birthday, and you're gonna die real quick. You're Very quick. So that's one of the things you have to pay attention to. Okay, so let me just turn down my uh, the volume of the game. So how's the sound right now? Okay. Oh my god, so bad for you, man. So, the thing, the good thing about Hawkeye is that as an anchor, he can actually wipe out a whole team. His damage becomes ridiculous, as I said, and you're gonna see why. So, you're in the combo. Uh, you're gonna see this is the most damage you could get. Now, on the 3x Factor, you get a couple of things. Uh, on the 3x Factor, you get. And you can actually, you can actually go further. So you get a fight, and you can get a fight. You don't even need to do that. I'm a Like, there's no reason for you not to do it. I, I don't think that I do that I don't see any other Hawkeyes doing because it's very hard. And for me, it's actually easier because I play on hitbox. Is uh, hit confirming his standing age triple into Gimlet X Factor. So you get something like this. And then you, with this, you can actually kill a whole so everybody dies, as you can see. <laughs> now the trick with this is that you have to cancel, you have to X Factor cancel before Gimlet hits. So right there. That way you get damage before Gimlet hits. This is exactly what you do this after you get this because you can't do anything. So Yeah, you can hit the turn with Gimlet. Gimlet will one X Factor. I stand the combo that much uh, on level three, level three X Factor. You know, you don't want to spend it. This is why Hawkeye is ridiculous. As <laughs> Another thing that he's really good at is getting happy birthdays. Okay, okay, great, great. Uh, so everything so far is good. So, so, so we were talking about his standing medium. His standing medium has ridiculous range, as I told you guys. Uh, you, one thing people have to be very aware of uh, is when you're when you're playing as Hawkeye and people are crouching. This lane is going to be uh, not as good as you can on some, on some characters who can actually crouch very low to the ground. Morrigan, Rocket Raccoon, Arthur, Beautiful Joe, uh, Wolverine, and, some, and some, so many others like Virgil and Dante. So if you go for a, for a low plus, is when you actually hit them low and then you go for something else. They're going to keep their crouching hurt box and your arrow is going to actually and that's not something you want because you're going to be left wide open. So let's make Wesker block. Wesker block. 
Why is he actually going to get this? But he's just timing himself by a little bit. This, this is something that's going to happen to you again. Maximum. That's something that you will get and you will die for. Okay, yeah. The thing about Net Arrow, the thing about Hawkeye is that, okay, it drinks a lot of time, extra good time because, okay, the goofy hat Matt is actually asking Punisher, is that Net Arrow loop really good for Hawkeye in low Drix Factor? It seems to drain too much X Factor. Okay, so everybody knows that when you hit, you hit people with your normals, you're slowing down the time. Now, Hawkeye does not have any damage uh, in the game, and you can only get one turn. So, with this, you can use your X Factor, but you're gonna mess up. Uh, his normals are very fast, they do not stay active for that many frames. And the loop is actually good for, for uh, build, meter building uh, for meter building for meter building uh, properties. So that's one thing. So that, that's one of the things that you guys need to be aware of when doing this. So uh, yeah, the loop is good Maximum. for uh, hit confirm from, from full screen. And you have to after that you get a full combo. I know it brings a lot of extra, but if you want to kill people, then, uh, you better get you better get this down. Of course, you have you, you've lost most of your X Factor, but that's what happens. So that's one of the things that happened uh, with Hawkeye. He wastes X Factor, but at least he's not Dante in terms of the level three X Factor. Dante actually wastes way much more X Factor, and you can actually blow up a whole team if you get a happy birthday with this character. So let's say that some like Wesker is just calling Plasma Beam and just shooting uh, shooting stuff at you. There's some people who actually do grounded uh, grounded gunshot, which is not very good. It's actually horrible while calling this. And against Hawkeye. So a big example for this could be. So this is you know, it'll happen. Doesn't matter if you say, well, people are not that stupid to do it. Trust me, it'll happen in a match. People are very confident, like way too overconfident. Well, that's one thing you need to be aware of. Now, let me show you how this only this also works on level on level one X Factor. Get my H back, and uh, let's just switch it. Oh boy, level one X Factor. Now, on level one X Factor, hit confirmer from full screen is actually much harder because you're you're either your place or or uh, wave dashes have to be on point. First attack! No! Down cover! 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 So there you have to end up. First attack! No! Okay, so uh, any other questions that you guys might have? So I'm right now. I'm just gonna discuss uh, his normal. So again, Dante Light is his range. Its range is just disgustingly bad. Crashing Light is the way to go. So you can actually do this. Just go in with the Crashing Light. Crashing Light has like very good range. But Crashing Light, our character is not supposed to go in. Pretty good. You this is something you should do. This be your go to counter link. So you go into this, and this, uh, you go into this, or you have to do it fast. So you should go make sure that your assist is actually covering you. When you're when you're shooting arrows at people, 
Make sure that every time you call your SS, you have to back up. Now, do not, do not sleep on people when you're when when they're on the ground. If you start just jumping, you can just crouch, dash, crouch, dash, dash, and they're gonna get closer. And if you jump, they're gonna just dash again, jump at you, and grab you and kill you from there. Because we all know how it goes. Okay, so we, we let's say what is yeah, so I like this. Uh, Standing out for resets with uh, yeah the right assist. That's true. <laughs> okay, so it says we know Hawkeye's range attack. Okay, and our proponents knows the weaknesses. How do we prevent these exploits? Okay, so in order for you to prevent people from exploiting your weaknesses, now let's tackle his weaknesses. He gets rushed down pretty pretty hard. Now, for people who try to rush in pretty hard, you have standing medium. Just slap him in the face with this with this tool. No one. Stay away or go take a shower. So just, just you know, slap him in the face with this. This is something you should be using at all times. It's a great anti-air. If uh, Wolverine's trying to jump at you with a dive kick, if he's in range and you throw that out, he's not gonna beat you. He's not gonna trade. He's not gonna betray you. Now, if you if you both of you actually time it, he's gonna get the best out of it because he's Wolverine, of course. That's why he does. So another thing that not a lot of people take advantage of is his crouching age. His crouching age is it's like really good. It's 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 a very unorthodox anti-air. Yeah, I know I might, I might sound crazy, but it's really good. So let me show you how good it is. He's so gonna set up this. So hopefully, I can actually show you something. Character. So Wesker likes to jump in and do jumping in, right? That's what Wesker is doing. And then they dash in, then go to the normal, or whatever. So we set it up. And uh, he's gonna do that. So, hi, you're blocking also. Oh my god. Wesker. You can actually do crouching in. Maximum. Like that, like, Maximum. And, yeah, so you can see you're gonna get hit. Crouching in, you do that. But another thing that you can do is. You wait for him to almost be at your at your um, falling on you, falling in on you, like this. You can actually hit people like uh, Wolverine. You can avoid dive kick. That is supposed to actually hit weapon. But this is way too slow. We're talking about preemptively uh, figuring out, preemptively thinking that they're gonna jump in. That way you can the way anti air is, is uh, moves like Wolverine uh, dive kick. Let's get uh, jump against the Wolverine. Welcome to the world of Marvel two. versus Capcom 3, where the fight is over. Hawkeye. Yeah, Hawkeye. Get ready for the fight of your life. Hawkeye, what is oh, He's got, of course, he's got a godlike team. He's a team that works for uh, Wolverine. 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 My boy. So we got Wolverine. And other characters that love doing that. So let me see. Another thing that you can do is. Let me see. So I'm gonna show you how good his crouching is. Now, do not fight an anti air every. And every Avengers, air normal Avengers, in the game Thunder because you're gonna die. This is something Fight. that you have to use Maximum. when you're in a in a in a scramble situation sometimes. Like when you feel that your opponent is gonna jump at you instead of doing something on the floor. So he really likes, likes to switch Maximum. jump like, like an idiot. Maximum. Oh my god. Maximum. Not doing, not doing Maximum. First attack. Maximum. Maximum first attack. Maximum first attack. Unacceptable. You're a maximum. So, let me just do it right this time. Maximum first attack. Unacceptable. Maximum. Maximum unacceptable. Maximum first attack. Unacceptable. It's something you're gonna see a lot. So be careful. Be uh, be ready. Uh, this is a very terrible matchup. The only way you can actually. Maximum. Endure this matchup is by doing a lot of reads, counter, uh, uh, countering their assist with Hawkeye, and then calling calling your assist when you're hitting the, their assist to uh, to to stop Wolverine from coming in. Maximum. 
Maximum! Maximum! As you can see, side kick actually wins. Maximum! Maximum! Jump, and you are gonna avoid. Maximum! 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 As you can see, he gets hit by Kamal. Maximum! He's, this is gonna happen a lot, but he's not gonna be ready to go first. Which is very sad. So when that happens, make sure that you, you're ready to go for the capital arts. So if you just hit him from behind, it's something that's happened to me plenty of times playing against him. I've never been able to. I think I just won because I was able to actually go first. So, but this is something that you can actually be ready when it happens. <laughs> because I suck, man, that's why. Oh my god, yeah. So, that's Crouching H in a nutshell. Uh, another thing is, he's crouching, uh, he's crouching forward. Diagonal forward uh, H. It's really good like, as an anti-air against Shulkin and uh, Daiki. This is something you can, you can rarely do. Not be afraid of using that. Uh, other things that you can do as well is when they're blocking, they're ground, right? So, this is what I was talking about. In the corner is when you're going to do stuff. So, if you're off by one freak, one freak, you're going to die. This is a block stream. So, when you're close to him, you can do standing medium. Do not dash in after poison tip. Because if you do, people are going to be mashing and you're going to die. This is your block speed. It's a frame trap, and you can combo off of it. You're going to get combos this way a lot. Way, way much more than you should. Which is a really good thing. Uh, so people can not mash throw, they can not mash anything. They can only mash bionic arm, but... Let's be honest, how many, like, how many Spencers are you, you going to fight? Not that many. And uh, this is something you're not going to have to worry about. Not everybody's match. Oh, and a bionic arm. So, as I said, best normal is standing medium because of the range. Uh, this is a really good block. You press with them. So you can do like this. So you can So you standing medium into charging. You can a lot of blocks on. Even though it's negative. And do this, and then call your assist and you can block it, and then keep the next turn if you feel like it, or you can you can just retreat. So I would tell you, I would suggest that every time you're playing Hawkeye, you should you should be wave dash forward and backward because wave dash is a play dash, it's really bad. It's okay, it's just okay, but it's not as good as wave dash. You can actually tell. Okay, look at this. That's that's what I, that's what my, uh, my that's what Cosmos in a uh, in Phil co called uh, the Roach movement. It's moving like a roach, and it has all the advantages. Okay, so how good is his lad on push blocking opponents? Seems like whenever I get the opponent with a push block into his slide, they always get hit when they wait their for their next normal. Is this good, or is it just online shenanigans? Push block. The opponent I made. Okay. How does this slide punch the uh, opponent? Okay, just like this. Whenever I get the opponent to push. Whenever I push by the opponent. They always get hit when they rip the Uh if I if, if what I read, if I understood what I read, you're basically telling me when um, people actually push block you after doing slide, they get hit because they're trying to press buttons. So that's something that's going to happen uh, very often. Uh, you can confirm into S. Oh, if you're not sure, you can just confirm into S. Like there, you have to be very careful. Like this is good. As you can see, if they're trying to do something, they're going to get hit. That's sliding to that. It's like they have to have like god like reaction. That's what you do. Because if they push you, you can react to So you have to be careful. That's why you can be get into this. You can do uh, this. Uh, block as well. They can't do much. 
Uh, so yeah, so block stream uh, this if they're not blo push blocking, so they were push blocking this. This is really good, but be careful because sometimes people are just crouching and they're not gonna the, the, the arrow is gonna go like over the head and that's gonna be terrible for you. So always be careful. Not, you should not be rushing in Hawkeye. Another thing that I see that is very underutilized is his uh, his up arrow light, his light up arrow. This arrow has amazing properties. It and uh, what it does is it has 99 low dribbler points. This basically destroys all low priority uh, points. I mean, all low priority fireballs or projectiles in the game. So anything that is low priority is going to get eaten by this. No matter how many there are, there are they're going to disappear. This can destroy up to three, if not more, or more against fireballs. But use this, use any of these up arrows sparingly. Because he, he has a lot of recovery. Look at this. I'm mashing it, not getting anything. Look at that recovery. A good thing to do is, you know, listen to this. Uh, standing, standing medium with this. That way you can actually confuse people. So if you're throwing this. Uh, okay, let's, so let's talk about like a little bit of rhythm. When you're jumping and throwing arrows, they're gonna, actually, they're gonna try to stay in the ground. And once they realize that you, you have fallen into a pattern, you have to change it. So you have to bait them into believing that you're going to keep doing the same thing. That way you bait them into making mistakes. Like on this screen. So if whenever you go into this, you have a bar, If they move forward, they're going to get hit by the first one, and the second one will combo into the super. Allowing you to, to prepare any kind of mix-up against those characters. So against characters like Dr. Doom who can actually super jump and throw finger lasers, you're gonna want to scatter have shot. to do a lot of scatter shots. But just don't scatter just do scatter shot. If you have a bar and you feel like he's gonna come in, just do scatter shot. Super scatter shot. Doom cannot do anything. If you, see him, if you see him throwing out finger lasers at you, if you see any other characters who have a very good uh if, if they have very good mobi air mobility, you have to make sure that you have uh, they have more meter than them, and that they cannot avoid Gimlet. Gimlet is one frame after the flash. If they're flying, they're gonna get hit. Unless they do it preemptively, and then they can actually block it. Gimlet is pretty unsafe, so do not be throwing a Gimlet around like, like a madman. Something you would not want to do. Okay, so, uh, an example, example. Virgil is just spamming HS, HS, HS. I push them away during S animation, and they get hit with this light after I push block. Yeah, the only option that you would have in that situation after this light hits is do S or cancel it if you're if you if you know that S is not gonna hit and you're in in fear of actually whiffing standing up S uh, in fear of whiffing S after your you know, your your confirm after your slide confirm just do poison tip and keep the again the can the keep the keep the roll ball uh the, keep the the ball rolling okay because you're not sure and you all you want to do is just get damage when you hit people with poison tip it's health and they're gonna have they're gonna have to come after you because there's a lot of that's a chunk of health that they're gonna be losing and if they do not touch you they're dying from not doing anything. So that that's that's your best bet. When when you're afraid of whiffing uh, S, just just do poison tip, regardless of whatever you get. That's your best bet, unless you want you want to do gimlet or something else. And that's that's different. Uh, but remember, you have to be really fast with that. With Hawkeye, you have to uh, you have to have like really good, uh, really good reflex reflexes, because you're gonna get a lot of hit confirms that you're gonna be like, how the hell did I get this? Uh, another thing you 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 have to utilize a lot is of course go back light into S I mean not S, into into light into medium and into A. Okay, when you should be using when should you be using light? Light is the faster one, so you should be using this during the window. Because he recovers the he recovers the faster with this. With uh crouching uh not crouching. Sorry about that. I don't know why I have that. But uh if you cancel quarter circle back light, 
into into medium you're gonna get this and this you mostly use for anti-air so you're gonna have people who are gonna jump on you because they feel like it and you have to make sure that you hit them you have enough time to actually hit confirm with this this is a, it's, it's a great situation, so you're gonna do something and as you can see Wolverine is desperate he wants to get a dice this is something you can bring him to slide and that's it you put people in a hard note down if you can add THC if you can add do anything else but get some damage and some meter just put them in a hard knockdown. down get get always get poison tip always poison the characters whenever you touch them poison them somehow I don't do that that much because I don't have my setups my setups and my combos are not that clean so I try to go for a couple of things I put them in a hard knockdown and then I do I go for poison tip and then watch out for the assist call and that's another thing Hawkeye is an assist killer this obliterates anybody who throws out a beam. Piercing Bolt is unbelievably powerful. These moves can actually go through any beam and any projectile that is a low cylinder projectile. So these destroys Buster. Goes through it and he hits everybody. It has piercing uh, capabilities. So you can hit two assists, you, you can hit two, uh, two characters, three characters if you do Team Super and it, it happens to hit. And uh, you can just do Gimlet and confirm. It has a ton of hits done. It is really good. The damage is insane. And uh, Piercing Bolt is never be, uh, be used that much for jumping. Only use it when you see that people are going to jump at you and kill this. This, you, you use this to, to destroy their assist. So let me show you the amount of damage that this can do to one assist. So, recording is going to call uh, Virgil because everybody loves him. Oh, this is gonna get rapid slash because Virgil's a bitch and everybody knows that. Oh, okay, so we have Virgil second. I think this is a hit for Virgil. Oops. Why then? Sorry guys, I'm whack. So you gotta hold that. Okay, so we call Virgil. We know that rapid slash is annoying, right? Damn. That is annoying. Such an annoying assist. No invincibility. No armor, no nothing. But he just comes out. Because he's Virgil. He's gonna come out. So you have to be ready to punish Virgil. And uh, one of the things that you that you that you have to do to punish Virgil is to do this. It's a uh, very interesting property in uh, one of Hawkeye's arrows, which is net arrow. For some reason the character stays out for way longer when you hit him with this. You can see, you can actually hit the character with it. And remember, hard knock. They recover really fast. But look at the damage. They try to come out. Look at the damage. That's, that was one piercing bolt. Now imagine if you do piercing bolt, X Factor piercing bolt gimlet. What happens? So you're, he's got the, the assist character was. Hold on. What, what X Factor? That was level one X Factor. Level two X Factor would have obliterated the assist. As you can see. No. I have a question. So the question says. Would you say H trick maneuver forward flip is Hawkeye's worst tool? Not at all. I would say that's one of his best tools. Because one, you can actually mix up people using that. But you have to be very clever. And you have to figure out what your opponent mostly does when you put him in a hard knockdown. So, uh, this move is fairly good, but the, its purpose is, uh, you, can, you, can, you can say that it's mixing up the opponent. So, if you have an assist, that can, uh, you can throw out, you can cross them up. With it. So, you are close, it will be something like this. And it's going to be really fast. Look at Wolverine, Wolverine is stay, still looking the other way if you do it right. So, that's a cross right there. But, it's not hitting Wolverine. Now, if... You, let it go as a, um, uh, as a system, right? You can confuse your opponent. And then if they block that, that is plus unblock. And people will not be able to hit you. If they block, once they block it, and your assist is going to hit them from behind. This move is it's bad if you use it in order to get, to go, to get in. Because Hawkeye is never supposed to, to go in unless you have a system to assist in a game plan to actually go in safety. So... I wouldn't say that's his worst move, 
Now, you want to know what which his his worst move is? This the roll. Now, now I'm gonna get some some kind of hate for saying that. You're gonna have a Punisher. You can use this into this. That's right. That's pretty much the only use you're gonna find for that. This is garbage. Don't use it. And uh, this that much, not that much. Oh, uh, those arrows actually have no durability. So this this standing edge and uh. Poison Tip have the same amount of durability, which is three. That's like one rocket raccoons, one of point rocket raccoons fireballs. It's really bad. So same thing with this. These have like three. I think it's three low durability points each arrow, and uh, that's a lot of durability because I think that he takes five of them. Uh, this has three low durability points as well. Each one of these arrows has uh, three low durability points, which is really good. But the good part about these arrows is that he can actually nullify, like he can actually beat the beams on point. If if, if Doctor Doom, Magneto, or anybody else in this game throws out a beam, you can do a triple arrow, triple arrow and you will beat their beam. Your third arrow is gonna go through it and hit the character. Now, if you combine this into triple this, arrow. then you have four arrows. So right there you have 12 low durability points moving forward, which is unbelievably powerful. Now, if you if you combine this to this, you have four durability points. Yeah, Pearson Bolt has four lo three low durability points, but it has a very special property. It cannot be destroyed by low durability uh, point, point property. I mean, by low durability projectile. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Those arrows have no durability, but they have they have properties. This has no durability. This has no durability. This has some durability. So now let's go into durability. So for durability, I'm gonna choose Flame Hawkeye. And I'm gonna choose whoever they want. And we're gonna talk about durability and uh, for Hawkeye. So we got beautiful Joe. Not a beautiful Joe. We're gonna have more. More again. Morgan, let's see. Well, let's choose uh, Doom's Plasma Beam because it's all in the world. And uh, who else should I use? Jump Session, of course. Because it's very, very good. For some reason, I feel like I should use Nova, but he's not. He's not uh, as important right now. So it's gonna be Jump Session. So as I previously said, Hawkeye has very low durability in most of his arrows. He's got only a quite a few things that actually make him relevant. So that is piercing bolt, super scatter shot, and up here triple piercing. I hope we can get ready to brawl. So fight! We got Morrigan, our beautiful succubus. Maximum. You can see he hits her. So one thing, everything using the roll actually hits him. Triple arrow, arrow. Is complete. This arrow. Does not miss her. But this is not miss her. So you have to be aware of okay, what arrows, what standing arrows actually hit the character you're fighting. That's gonna be that's gonna be crucial when you're fighting. You have to use, yes, you have to use, throw this out. This actually protect you protect you uh, from a lot of things. Sometimes you get comboed and they forget that your arrow is there and that it's gonna flow anytime soon. And it also nullifies beams. So let's say that Doom is gonna th uh, throw out plasma beam. So we got we got stupid ass beam coming out with plasma beam. But you have you know smartly and you have cleverly. Not gonna throw that away. But you threw it out. Throw it out. See, it takes a lot of time. Exploding arrow! Exploding arrow! Cross over! And don't Exploding arrow! I can get rid of this. Cross over! See, Hawkeye didn't even get hit. And he gets hit while he's crouching. As you can see. So Hawkeye. Oh, another thing that you should be aware of is that Hawkeye crouches, he low profiles under every beam in the game. Cross over! As you can see, you cannot get hit. Oh, damn! Doom is coming out. Well, let me just, oh, and whoa. That's one thing that's very useful. 
So he low profiles under any beam. So now let's talk about the property on his forward medium. So his forward. Uh, let's talk about uh, crotch, uh, quarter circle back light. That's poison tip. Or using the roll. As you can see, let me show you how a little bit. Of it hit the beam and it disappeared. So it didn't work. Crossover. Uh, the ice, the ice shot. Now you have this one. It has a lot of durability. Maximum. It's gonna beat that beam every time, no matter what. So one thing, so only three hits. As you can see, all, all of the arrows actually aid the durability. Maximum. So that's one thing that you can take advantage of. Now his forward medium has has very interesting properties. It's according to according to the the book, it does chip damage, but nothing else is said about it. Now it has five low durability points, but for some reason it has some weird properties like law trap that they go through beams because. But the spread actually has like five solid durability points. It's now that it's gonna be one each frame. No, it's, it's solid. It has the. I think it has beam durability, but I don't know what kind of beam durability it has. So check this out. It destroys all beams automatically. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's. Really you can see. Not only they did it actually eat the the beam, but it also hit Morrigan. See there? That's that's how good that is. So another thing that is amazing, like crazy good, is uh, Hawkeye's piercing ball. People have to be very careful when they. Go These might be three low durability points, but four low durability points. Maximum. Okay, can I turn the music down a little bit? Yeah, sure. Okay, so... Uh, what other things we should know? So, we know that Morrigan likes to throw, throw a soul fist, right? This is a very hard matchup for Hawkeye, regardless of how people might put it. Some people say, well, Hawkeye gives Morrigan a really hard time, but it's actually very hard for him. Because she can actually go out there and then keep doing the same thing. Because she's warning, of course. It's gonna happen. So, the um, problem about this is that Hawkeye's arrows, as I said, they, each one of them has has uh, low durability points. So, this only gets rid of one of the fireballs. And uh, this actually goes straight, but you know, as you can see, he actually whips. This is actually And uh, I guess Morgan do not throw out the now look at look at triple arrow. Only one of them hits. If you jump and you do something like this, you might not be able to hit it. You throw out the throw out the second. You see, you keep on juggling the fireball. This is why it's a bit of a Maximum. Once one fireball gets out, it's really hard for Hawkeye to play. He can actually rush him down for, like really hard. He doesn't have any get off me moves. Sorry guys, uh, I had I had work, so I came out like around six and I had to eat something. And so I'm working like full full time now. I'm not gonna be able to actually do it uh, earlier unless I do it during the weekends. So as I was saying before. One thing that you can do to fight this kind of thing is not let it get started. You can do, you know, that. Standing, like standing. Standing it into a triple arrow. And then you can just reach the ball. You have to make sure that you're not throwing triple arrows in the air. 
Fast one. It destroys the fire. It destroys fireballs. You don't have to be worried about. Oh my god! One arrow hit us. It's not gonna be destroyed, and then have to worry about the second one coming. So naturally, really kind of like, this really good. Like I said before, destroys fireballs. Really good. Destroys fireballs. And they're still there. Two of these of her fireballs were actually destroyed. So, the explosion has to be Take advantage of that. So you can use that. Don't do that. That's one of the things that you should never do against Morrigan. Uh, this is a cool preference. When she's doing shell kick, you should be uh, doing slide into into her shell kick or whatever the hell she wants to do. And if you're reading that, they're gonna like one of the one of one of the patterns that Morrigan, a lot of Morrigan players actually follow, is they jump, they throw two fireballs, and then they have the four They got no shell kick, right? Or they just throw like this. And follow it. Or get or eight. So let's mimic that and let's see what we can do. So some of the things that you can do with Hawkeye is you can use slide. Slide is really good. That is good. Oh, 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 maximum. Oh, 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 so that's just why you should never test that. Game. Five frames. He has crazy amount of hits. Of head stun and block stun, so that's a free punish against Hawkeye. Uh, for Hawkeye, you can do this. He's not gonna lose that battle ever. This lie has massive hitbox. You just light into Shulky and beat the crap out of him. That's that's your go to. Now do standing move because you know how that works. Maximum. Well, right there, I could hit her. Maximum. Right there, just maximum. Yeah, let's try to that. Maximum. Uh, let's just set it up so that she can actually come down with H. Maximum. So that's, that was a combo. Maximum. So as you can see, once you block one fireball. Maximum! 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 And there's something that's gonna happen a lot, and you have to be ready because it's a matchup that where you have to kill this character. No matter what. Very next factor, killer. Killer. Yeah, you gotta get your game started. Maximum! Turn the mic up a little bit. Mic up. Hold on, let me get it. Uh, how about now? Can you guys hear me? Because it, it looks like he was actually away from me. Okay, so... Whackbot, what's up, man? Yeah, let me turn the, the game volume down. For some reason, it's, it's, it's kind of higher. Okay, so... That's, uh, that's one of the other things I'll have. So, let me see, he's got all the things, all the things that you can actually do with Hawkeye is, is a, uh, what is it I was going to say, is a, uh, up arrows, medium up arrows are really good against, against the, uh, against people who, who stay in the air, just choking plasma at you, throwing uh, projectiles, or any other, or any other kind of things. So, if you have someone like Morrigan and she stays up in the air, you can throw a super. Uh, you can you can throw out a scatter shot. That's gonna catch her. Yeah, each each one of those arrows actually have five low durability points, and uh, it destroys. As I said, each one of them has five low durability points. So that's one of uh, Morrigan's fireballs. And uh, I don't know how many arrows she shoots. Wow, it's a lot of arrows. Scatter shot. Like six. Scatter shot. Okay. Scatter shot. Let me just uh, turn off blocking. Oh, you can actually see. So that was four. Scatter shot. That was six. Yeah, it's, it's exactly six. So 
5 times 6 is 30. So that's 30 level durability points, which is really good. So if she... Right there, she starts throwing that out. You can just... Re you can just... Pay attention that she and and, uh, and you know anticipate that she's gonna do something like that, and then throw out your your. You're a maximum. Gotcha. As you could see, you still had arrows that were hit, that were hit, and two of the that the two fireballs that were out got destroyed. This is, I cannot stress You're this now. This is just way too good. And she got hit. Hmm. Beautiful, huh? Another thing that you have to keep in mind is that scatter shot is actually a self knockdown. Maximum So if someone gets hit by the NBA, you can actually get hit by it. It works every time. There's, there's no weird thing about this. It's soft knockdown. So Morgan player, be ready. You're gonna get body Maximum. And it's kind of tricky. It's a soft knockdown. You get hit, and you think that you're gonna fall right away. But there's like a slight, a very slight pop. This also scales a lot. So triple piercing is good, but it's not as good as got it. It has more range. Maximum. Triple piercing. But it's not as good. Triple piercing. First attack. So, super, uh, scatter shot is actually the, the, the go to combination. In that situation, uh, this is a really good anti air as well. They're up in the air, throwing fireballs, double fireballs. You can just, you know, keep them in check. Stop them. Just make sure that you're dashing every time you pull one out. That way it hits again. Really good. But just, just make sure that if you think that it's gonna whip, you can't whip. You see, you that, that works. Right there. So, uh, how, by the way, how's the volume right, right now, guys? Okay, so... So it says, uh, how worthwhile are the S, TK Scattershot, Gimlet extensions? Ha! Ah, how would I go about this? I wouldn't say that it's worth that much. Because you're spending you're spending meter and it's certainly not gonna kill like this. But you said X Factor, so X Factor should actually make it better. So let's say we have how many bars? Let's say I have for uh, 32 bars. We can actually build maximum. Scatter shot! Maximum! 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 Maximum!
And I guess Morgan, if you hit her with Piercing Bolt, this is your way to actually hit Morgan when she's crouching with Piercing Bolt. You do Standing Age, you do spin, you tap down as soon as you let go of Standing Age. So you can hit her with Gimlet with this. Let me wait until you hit it. And then you go into your combo, into the combo of your preference. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the thing you have to do. Hit and miss. Tomorrow. And he's dead. And boom is dead. And a lot of other people. So that's that's one way for you to actually get rid of more again, like game Maximum. one. Don't even worry about anything. Just just kill her, man. Kill her. Uh, you can actually do this as well. Oh, yeah. No. As I said, you have to be important with your flanks. Uh, or your dad. Or your dad. No. You have to cancel Maximum. the gimlet before X Factor. No. You have to X Factor before gimlet no. hits. That way you get the, the damage boost. And the block. So, yeah, that's, that's a lot of damage right there. Yo, later, man. Later, Matt. The game is a bit loud. How come? Hmm. I don't know why the game is loud. Um. Hmm. That's weird. It's kind of weird. Okay, so one of the other things that when you're playing Hawkeye is that your main goal is to stop assists. So you use not to, to counter call their assists most of the times, but to hit their point character and to, to keep Hawkeye very safe. So that's, 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 that's your main goal. You have to keep Hawkeye safe no matter what. Uh, you have to, your movement has has to be on point of Hawkeye. You have to stay mobile. Not always you want to be throwing arrows because you have to pay attention to the to the distance. When people are getting hit by arrows in the air, they're gonna have they're gonna try to approach you uh, through the ground. And if you're not paying attention, they're just gonna get to you and kill you. Now, when fighting uh, Doctor Doom, gonna, gonna this do not jump and try to hit Morgan like this. It's not gonna do any good. Only gonna get to so one fireball. Just keep on dashing. Whenever you see Morgan jump, you can roll ass. Raw ass is really good when it comes to that. Just make sure you're at maximum range. That way you're gonna get by. So that's 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 that. Uh, fighting Doom. <laughs> this is this is a matchup that I shouldn't be teaching you because this is just so, too easy. But of course you get to lose because Doom actually has really a uh, really good mobility. But every time you have meter and you see Doom getting in, throw something out and then super scatter. Unless they they are like super close. Like this close. Do not do super scatter shot when he's like this close because he super can just dash shot. in and throw you from this distance. He can just dash in and you're gonna die. Maximum. Worst distance super to do this kind of thing is shot. anybody can dash in and throw you. Safe distance. Super scatter shot. Even this is like he hits people more, more than they hit you. So this is the, is the, the perfect shot. distance for you. So whatever you do, if you do uh, triple arrow, you go you go your assist, and you feel like they're gonna jump over. You. You're gonna jump over the arrow and they hit you. You can do super scatter shot. That's gonna get them off. Of you. But be careful. They call they can call an assist and they will not get hit. So that's one thing. Uh, jump session is a very interesting assist to fight because he has a, a gigantic hitbox, and you have to be you have to use your your. Your projectile very well. So, you can see that you're not going to do anything with that. Yeah, look at that. He ate the fireball and he also stopped Amphi. So it was ridiculous. But this time, it did. You can see it stopped both. But if it hits Amphi, he's not. Uh, yeah. 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 Fireball. I think this fireball actually has 
two different pro properties. It has a property. It has pro. It has like five low dribbler points. Low dribbler points when it when it when it goes out and when it spreads, it has the same amount of dribbling. So it looks. It, that's what it looks from here. Uh, fighting Dante alone. Like when they call Dante. Like here, they call Dante. Okay, that's something you have to learn how to fight. Get your latest it's down session. Cross over. Well, do something, but that's a problem. Dante actually crouches, so he low profile on their arrows. So if you do it before he comes out, it'll hit him every time. But this is a really this is a illusion battle. If you do it like this. This is not gonna hit you. None of this. Remember that he has startup, so crystal ball all the way to get you later. Not forget about this. Go to move are those. And whenever whenever you get a hard knockdown on an assist. You can actually just put the tip all day. This is gonna stay poisoned. Take it out. It's still gonna be poisoned. As you can see, that's one thing you have to do. Uh, this and uh. Maximum! Maximum. All the things of a hawk I is his voice and his flip. It's is like the lowest of the low, the lower to the ground. Better. And it's safer. Again, more again. He's such a such a terrible character. Because you guys actually crouch under a lot of things. Most of the things of Hawkeye. Uh, matchups that give you that give Hawkeye really uh, really uh, like a lot of trouble is uh, our Anybody who can rush him down, Morrigan, Magneto sometimes, even though he can actually body Magneto for free if you play him well. So, bad matchups are Wolverine, uh, well, let me see, Wolverine, Virgil if he's, if he's got meter. Uh, who else? X-23 because she can go in like really, really fast. Sean Lee depending, but Sean Lee's not that much of a problem. But once you block, that's, that's when the problem starts. Uh, that should that should be, you know, Dormammu. I think he would go ooh, five five or something something like that, depending who gets started first. Uh, Nova gives him pro gives him uh, problems too, but he can actually control Nova fairly well once Nova actually has no meter. Uh, Zero is actually a matchup that is very tricky because you can you can destroy Zero with Hawkeye, but the problem is he's got Buster and he can jump at you. Avoid your, your arrows and then kill you from one lightning or from one buster as well. So that's a, that's a tricky matchup. The way you play that matchup is you have to you have to pay attention, a lot of attention, be patient, and stay active. You have to stay mobile, active, if you don't want to die. So how do you deal with very rush down with okay very every when you don't have a push a push away pull away assist. Okay, in order to deal with the rushdown, you have to you have to play footsies, man. And the way you go about it is that you have to use your normals, you have to know your range, the range of your normals, where you want to be, how close are they, can you actually press a button, that's the question. With Hawkeye, you have to block. You have to do a lot of blocking. That's for sure. Lots and lots of blocking. So, whenever you're, you're, you're uh, in a defensive position, you have to block. There's no, there's no pressing buttons. Hawkeye doesn't have... 
I like buttons. You have to, you have to block. That's why, in my, in my opinion, he sucks when it comes to that. It's, he sucks terribly. So you, your defense has to be on point. Otherwise, you, you cannot play this character like this. Uh, don't rush in. I know, I know, I do it a lot. It's very bad. So it's a very bad example. But again, use your poison tip uh, block screen and uh, use your assist. Try right, to hit their assist. Whenever you see that they're calling their assist, call your, call your assist while you're actually trying to hit their assist. That way, their point character has to worry about your assist. And you can just you know build up, build up on the on the damage and on the assist time. When you hit them, it actually takes their assist a little bit more, a little bit uh, more time to actually come out because they either get knocked down or they the the, blood, the hit stun actually gives keeps them in inside the game. Like in on in screen on screen. So that's that's one of the things that you have to do. Exploding arrow. Uh, other characters arrow. that give you problems. Any character that gives Russian. Rocket Raccoon gives them a lot of problems. Iron Fist give them a, gives them a lot of, a lot of trouble because Iron Fist can just jump forward and then avoid most of his mix-ups. Even though you can take a lot of damage, a lot of chip damage, that's nothing because he's got one mil. Got one mil, he could do, he could do, he can take a trip. He's not Morgan. He has to commit a lot. So that's the thing about Hawkeye. There's a lot of commitment, and you can die uh, for each one of your decisions. He's got 900k when it comes to health. He's very good. He can play on any position. Very rarely you can get you, you get to see Hawkeye on point because he's a character that has no offense, no defensive tools, no get off moves, get off moves. He relies a lot on assists, and he he burns meter. You have to burn meter if you play Hawkeye on point. That's for sure. Uh, he's a he's a very uh, he's a powerful assist character, and he's a very powerful anchor. He can actually wipe out a whole team in a very little time. So that's that's another thing about this character. Uh, so yeah, tools that you should be using is any of his up arrows. You should always have something outside on the field. Floating arrow is great, keep it out, because people are going to want to advance uh, on the ground if they cannot approach you through the air. If you see people coming at you from the air, you have Gimlet. Just Gimlet, just pull your assist Gimlet, that way you can you actually get protection from your assist, and Gimlet will, will hit them right away. That's the thing. So use Gimlet against Magneto when they actually try to try dash into you, and call the assist, use that, or use, use Super Scatter Shot when they're getting too close. That's your get out move, you have to do... I was into super scatter super shot. shot. That way you get you get the mom and you get to think what's going on. So that's that. Uh, other things to a few things to actually uh, keep in mind are Hawkeye's Hawkeye super scatter shot has a lot of and uh, he actually beats out a lot of people. Get ready for the fight. Feel like you're gonna die from something random. You can actually scatter very fast. A lot of the BS in the game. What else? Uh, let's do version two. For the super that has, um, you want to save yourself. We all know that that is. Uh, what else? Let's use amateur ads as an example. Any, any of the themes you can use this new Storm, get ready to fight! Clone Wonderland! The fight is on! World's great, get ready to brawl! So it's got a shot pushes them back when you when they're blocked. Yes, it pushes them back when they're blocked. Exactly. So that's why you want to use to get scatter shot. It pushes them back a lot when they're blocking. Let me see. Uh, old guard. Old guard. So look at how much it pushes. Think of this as shockwave. I, I let him just like no. uh, say Maximum! No. Maximum! So, Maximum! 
let's say Magneto does, does something that's does shockwave and then if he wants to X Factor and then go for the kill. You know that you you have the stuff. So now you have to correct it. And a way for you to save yourself would be by doing a Maximum forward because they want to get the hit. So the way of approaching this. He, ha he has the block, regardless. So he's not gonna be able to actually do okay. okay, He still gets hit. So all the things that that will happen. Okay. If you see that Virgil, oh, hold on, yeah, that I have no meter. And I need meter, plenty of meter. Maximum. It's not big Virgil. And he does his crap. Maximum. Hold on. Don't get so tough. I need more power. Maximum. Don't get happen. so tough. Super scatter shot! Maximum! Don't get so tough. Yes, Maximum! Don't get so tough. Super scatter shot! That was a very, very bad uh, kind of trade, but it was very confusing, so people would, would not react to that and kill you. But yeah, he beats Virgil's red dimension flash. Get back! Maximum! Don't get so tough. Well, that's, that's a great idea. Don't Fire get so tough. Like, Super scatter shot. Great. Maximum. No reason that pushed him forward. It was supposed to push him back, but that's uh, that's. Maximum. Freeze! Ice Bomb! 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 Ice Super scatter shot! Freeze! Ice ball! Beautiful! Freeze! Ice ball! Vanish! Maximum! But that's one of the things Maximum. that can help you. They help you out a lot. Alright, man, later. Thanks for coming through. Game volume too loud. Why is it? I don't know why it is.
like it doesn't matter how much I use a volume skill, it's not affecting me for some reason. Huh. Alright guys, uh, is the volume still too high? When sh would you use rock beam missiles as is on Doom? It depends on the matchup, I would say. For example, you want a beam assist to actually counter call other beam assists and to actually gain control of that. You would use missiles when you, you have to fight someone because Hawkeye can actually fight anybody anybody on the ground for full, for, from full screen but he cannot control the air as well. Okay, it's still the same, but you can can you hear my voice like clearly? Even though the games the game sound is for some reason uh, too loud. I know it's annoying guy. Um, I wanted to I wanted to have this ready, but it looks like I'm gonna have to some other time do this again. Okay, so so from now on, I'm just gonna say uh, I'm sorry about 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 the game being too loud. I don't know what's going on with uh, OBS. Yeah, I try I try to lower the the game volume, but for some reason it's still high. Like I don't understand that. I don't know why that is. For some reason it stays high, like way too high. Uh, what about now? Can you guys hear the game right now? Can you hear the game? Or not? Let me know if you if you guys hear the, the sound of the game because I muted it on the on the, the streaming program. You hear it? So that it's it's, it's it has something to do with the program. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but it has to do with problem. Something, something wrong is happening. Some weird, some something weird is happening. I don't know what the hell it is, but. on it later on guys yeah I lowered the, the volume in the game but still still happening so you want me to do it like this just go into main menu and then lower it so I'll do it like that hopefully the game will cease and desist So how about now guys? How about now? Is it fine like this?
How about now? Is it fine? Only got three of you guys. Much better. Okay, great, great. So I should have done that from the beginning. I'm sorry about this. Uh, it's not gonna happen next time, okay? Next time this if, they, if if this happens next time, then I'm gonna find a way to actually fix it. I'm uh, I'm gonna see if I can actually buy a camera, so I can you know stream whatever, so you guys can see me getting salty or whatever. Okay, okay, great. So as I was saying before, uh, yeah, your assist is gonna depend is gonna depend a lot on what kind of matchups you have. If you have a, a character that's just rushing you down like really really badly. You can use rocks to actually play the neutral game. Because it's, it's gonna be all all about neutral. Hawkeye. If you play, if your neutral is very strong with Hawkeye, then you're gonna you're gonna shine. You're gonna play very well, and you can actually dominate a lot more. Okay, what other questions do you guys have besides oh everything that I've talked about? So what other things would you guys like to know? Oh yeah, I almost forgot about to talk about Hawkeye's oh, Net Arrow Glitch. Uh, one thing you that you want that you're you're gonna want to do is when you're fighting against characters who have projectiles whose durability is much stronger than yours, you're gonna have to want to gimlet to in order to hit them in order to hit them. For example, when fight the mammal, the mammals, a lot of the mammals, the mammal players like to actually just snuff out your projectiles. You have gimlet, so whatever they do, whatever he does, you can actually just gimlet his face. Uh, but what I would suggest is that every time you hit him with Gimlet, kill him. Just kill him. And not let him let him stay because he's gonna blow up your team. And you, you'd rather you rather fight any anybody else. You'd rather fight with Mamu. I mean, kill the Mamu early, and so that way you don't have to fight him. Uh, fight him with Doom because we all know how that goes. Horrible. But remember, exploding out, exploding arrow into this is really good. They're gonna think that they're gonna be able to go through, but they're gonna get hit by exploding arrow before they hit, it hits. This is really good because as long as they block Gimlet, they, they try to go in and they get hit by that. It's not that good, but it, you know, it's, it's a little... It's, it's such a good surprise. They think that they're gonna be able to hit you. Let's do this into Gimlet, into this. this. They're gonna get hit by that, and then boom, that's gonna combo. So, let's go with this. So this glitch... I was supposed to come out. So this is a glitch. So the way the way it works is after launching your opponent, you're gonna want to uh, you're gonna want to do is net arrow and to give it. You have to DHC right away. If you don't do it, Gimlet will hit and will get them out of the state. The capture state keeps them there. And you get a hard, you get a hard knockdown, and you get the scaling goes the same way, but you get another kind of grand. Uh, Hawkeye doesn't have any TAC infinite, but you can do the same thing of a TAC. Same concept. Oh boy, let me just take a. Guard, all guard. Take it off. Get the same thing. So that's one thing you can do. For hard tag. Okay, any good tag, a Hawkeye Strider. Hmm. Should have said it earlier. So let's go back into whatever. Do I have Strider? No, I don't have Strider. I haven't played Hawkeye Strider, so I have played each character individually. Wow, I got Tron on the other side. It's kind of ridiculous. The good thing about Hawkeye Strider is that Strider keeps them off, off, no, off the air. 
And you can confirm. You can confirm from any of those things. From uh, from Badger, really easy. So this. The damage is not it's not affected that much. But the HC is actually suck. So as you can see, I had the super. I got that super by mistake. I'm not supposed to get that. So Hawkeye has a glitch that super, if you DHC right away, you're gonna get a DP because the game still registers forward, uh, and a forward input. So the game still has it. So in order for you to actually get rid of this, you have to go into neutral. So with hitbox, all I, ha all I will have to do would be do down forward and then uh, do super and back right away. That way I get neutral because if I hold forward and back, I get neutral automatically. So you have to go neutral after your super. You can see there, and then go into super, and that's how you get rid of it. That's how you get rid of it. So you have to go into neutral. That's where you hold back as soon as you do your super, and then do all the other super. So you have to go down forward, down, down forward, forward, super. I mean, two uh, two attack buttons. And then press back right away after the two attack buttons. And then go into your super, which is a down forward, down. I mean down forward, down. I mean down forward, forward, into your super. That way you you'll never get a DP. But if you wait, then you're gonna get a DP every time. As you can see here, I'm just gonna do it. I'm the game giving me a DP. That's not what you want. See? You cannot wait. Until the gimlet com comes out to actually do the other super, to actually hold back and then do the do your super because you're gonna get that. That's what you're gonna get every time. So. There you go. And that's how you get your super. You have to hold back as long as you do your super, let go, and then do your super. You have to do That way you never get this. So, Ryder and Hawkeye actually work well. But Hawkeye benefits more from Strider than Strider from Hawkeye. I would say. It. Because Triple R is kind of weird. And you know, Tron is kind of on himself. It's, it's weird. Any good tech with Hawkeye? Uh, he's standing. His uh, over medium will eat Buster. So that's that's something something to know. Gimlet is really good, but remember that anybody with uh, some invincibility can actually dock it. And again, you play this character with this. You can get a lot. You can get ridiculous results. I've never played this this team. But there's a lot of things that you can do. Like you can be, like you can be very creative with Hawkeye, depending on this thing. Very creative. But yeah. So. You can see. It's a lot of stupid stuff that you can get with this thing. Yes, triple arrow assist beats uh, Doom assist, definitely. The assist and the point character as well. So I'll show you. I love this this Trider thing. Maybe I'll play this later. Later in the future. So we have Doom. We have uh, Magneto Disruptor. 
the fuck is my name? Get there. And uh, get my shit. Well, have a really good beam. Iron Man. So these are three of the beams. They're the best beams in the game. And we know that Bill's uh, beam is really good. So I have Doom, I actually do his Plasma Beam, H Plasma Beam. So, that's H Plasma Beam. So he's gonna wait. wait. Okay, so I think if we do Sending H into this, I'm gonna beat it. Right there, they trade. So H Plasma Beam actually beats his arrows, but... The assist gets bitten free. So, you can see Hawkeye does not get hit because the trade is that. Plasma Beam, on the other hand, is totally different. Assist. That's the assist. So, if you call him. This guy gets hit. You can see he beats the beam every time. So that's how good triple arrow is, really is. Yeah, just practice your beam beams with Hawkeye. Uh, try to keep your wall bounce, your ground bounce, as much as possible, and poison people. And then you know, just just that is also not about it. It's not about killing people, it's about, you know, resetting them to a lot of damage. The damage most of the time, so frustrating your opponent. What are you know, you're supposed to do with him? So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, Anchor Hawkeye, as I said, can actually destroy whole teams. So, let me show you. One last thing before I actually end this. I think I should have done this uh, on a, on a, this tutorial on a weekend, because a weekday is actually horrible. But, I have no time, so I'm gonna go into Hawkeye level 3 extractor. So that was off the throw, so you can do a lot of damage off the throw. These actually skills a lot to combo. You pick up with that. You can see he flipped out right away. Another pickup. And he does much less damage, so every time you do this, this is your best option. So, so. And there you go. Is there a good reason? Yeah. Uh, the reason why that loop actually happens is because, first of all, it's a capture state that puts them in a hard knockdown. So he uh, actually does not deteriorate, uh, deteriorate uh, hit stun, deterioration. I mean, it doesn't deteriorate hit stun that much. So he, ha he has like very little hit stun because it's a capture state. And therefore, you can actually loop it that way. That's one of the reasons why that loop actually works. And because of X-Factor, you get faster and you can actually link them a lot. And as I said, he has, it actually does not deteriorate his hit stun as much. You can see he's a hard knockdown every time he, he gets, every time he gets out of the, the, the net.
Oh, you can see I got 800. 100k meterless. So just get like 700k and then go into a combo of your preference. Or less. So as you can see, you get you get two relaunch, which is really good. Possibly to waste time on an install super. Uh, Net arrow is really good if you actually want to waste somebody's X Factor. Like you, you hit Virgil, but no, you're not gonna kill. Build a tunnel bar as well. Good thing about it. Build bar. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much uh, its use. I think he's got another loop. This is a loop. Yeah, you can loop this. So yeah, that's the loop. Okay, I'm that one. Yeah, that look is not even that good. Because it closes you up. One thing you never want to do with Hawkeye. Now that you said to waste people X Factor, he seems good. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, it's really good to waste people X Factor. Uh, when people jump, this loop actually works without X Factor. So if they jump and they get hit by this, and they get hit by the the arrow in the air, you can actually get it. The damage is really good. This is like the, his most damaging confirmed. So the damage is really good. I think this is the most damage you can get of a combo. When this loop. So yeah, this is the most damage you can get out of oh, this. No assist. And the double thumb meter. Boom. They still lose the health. So yeah, that's what that's one of the ways you can actually do that. Alright guys, so let me just end the stream because I gotta go to work tomorrow. So I'm just gonna keep uh, I'll keep working on this. So you can guys you guys can actually ask me ask me more questions. So I'll see if I can do this during the weekend, okay? I'm just gonna end the stream and I'll catch you guys later. So later guys.